Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the six species of owl that live here wild in the UK. And I'm gonna start with the most popular, which is the barn owl. These pale colored birds are the most widespread species of owl in the world and are the second commonest in the UK. There are around 9,000 pairs here and as their name suggests, they often take up residence in barns and outbuildings, but will also nest in tree cavities, caves and crevices. Barn owls are mostly nocturnal, although they can sometimes be seen out hunting in the early morning or late afternoon, especially when food is in short supply or when they have chicks to feed. Their wingspans range from 80 to 95 centimeters and they weigh around 700 grams. The next species I'd like to talk about is the most common in the UK, although much harder to spot, the tawny owl. With a wingspan of 80 to 105 centimeters and weighing 400 to 800 grams, they are a similar size to barn owls. These birds are where the famous owl sound of Tawit Tawu comes from, although it isn't a single bird and is instead made up of a female calling Tawit and a male responding to woo. Although they will sometimes roost in buildings, they often rely on their camouflage and hide among vegetation and in tree hollows. There are as many as 50,000 pairs of tawny owls in the UK, but you may have never seen one as they usually don't go hunting until after dark. Next up is a species which is sometimes active during the day, the short-eared owl. These are quite rare as a breeding bird, with between 620 and 2,180 pairs living here. These numbers are bolstered in the winter, when varying numbers of birds that breed in Scandinavia cross the channel to avoid the worst of the cold weather. They have a wingspan of 90 to 105 centimeters and weigh 260 to 350 grams. Short-eared owls nest on the ground, and will also often roost low down, among grass or other vegetation. As there's a short-eared owl on this list, you might have been expecting the next species, the long-eared owl. Identified by their protruding ear-like feathers, these are another fairly rare species with an estimated 1,800 pairs breeding in this country. Just like short-eared owls, some birds from Northern Europe also migrate here for the winter. Long-eared owls have a wingspan of 85 to 95 centimeters and weigh around 300 grams. They are strictly nocturnal and will only be out during the day if they've been disturbed. They nest in the disused nest of other birds of prey and crows and usually roost among vegetation, sometimes in small groups rather than alone. The next owl I'd like to share with you is the smallest owl in the UK, the little owl. Unlike all of the species I've spoken about so far, these birds are definitely not native to the UK and were introduced here in the 1870s. They are very small compared to our other owls, with a wingspan of around 56 centimeters and weighing about 180 grams. Little owls mostly feed on the ground and can sometimes be active in the twilight hours, running around trying to find insects and small mammals to eat. There are currently around 5,600 pairs of little owls in the UK, and they'll often roost around farm buildings, in stone walls, and hollow trees. Opposite to the little owl, but with quite a lot in common with them, next up is the Eurasian eagle owl. These birds are often described as being the size of a small dog, and with a wingspan of 155 to 180 centimeters, and grow into weights of one and a half to four kilos, they are bigger than a chihuahua. I have been lucky enough to see an eagle owl in the wild, but this was definitely an escapee, and a lot of people would argue that there are no truly wild birds in the country. However, there is some evidence that these birds can cross the channel from mainland Europe, and there definitely has been successful breeding of these giants in the wild. Current estimates vary greatly, with between 12 and 40 pairs thought to be living here. 
That's all of the breeding owl species in the UK, but there is one honourable mention, the snowy owl. These birds usually nest in the Arctic and rarely turn up in this country as winter vagrants, but a pair did once nest here, on the Shetland Islands north of Scotland between 1967 and 1975. And that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy or you had a hoot, then check out this one here that's on the screen now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.